let us discuss about the status bar status bar appears on the bottom right corner of the screen so here is the status bar for us and it is having so many different options are there that is one very important option or button is there that is customize so if you click here then the customization menu will come and from there you can enable or disable you can select or deselect different options coming on this respective status bar so the application status bar contains a coordinate readout on the left and a number of status toggle buttons as shown in this figure we can open the customization menu by clicking the rightmost icon of the status bar as i discussed and can select and deselect multiple different options that will come or will not come on the status bar so here we can go for the grid view we can enable and disable this one this is for the snap and this is for the status toggles and so on we shall show you that how this status bar can be used in our autocad in this session we are going to discuss regarding status bar so this is our status bar getting displayed here so here we are having multiple different options are there available which options will be coming and which options you don't require you can set it using this customization so if you click on this customization then so many different options are getting displayed so here you are finding this coordinates are coming so if you unselect this one then the coordinates will not come here you can find that you are having this units here we can find that you are having this units and these units are architectural decimal engineering fractional scientific right now you are in the decimal units so if you do not want to show these units here you can click here then the units will not be shown here so this is the mode with the help of which you can go for that is a grid that is a grid on off mode so if you check it then if you click on that then the grid will not be shown if you click on that then grid will come back again so it is working in the toggle type mode and that is for the snap this is for the ortho this is for the uh, realistic cursor to specific angles and so on so multiple different options are available object snap uh, settings tracking so here we are having multiple objects object snap settings are available so you can also select any one of them this section is for internal for this annotation part so here we are having multiple workspace switching you can move to 3d basics you can move to 3d modeling and so on so here we are having this one as isolate objects this is the annotation monitor that is the hardware acceleration so this is for the clean screen on and off option so if you click here so clean screen is on now you can also check that it is on if you click here then it will become off and this is the this is the option that is a customization which will decide that what are the options are getting displayed on the status bar and what, what options you are not bringing it so if you click on this units as i've shown you earlier then the decimal is coming if you uncheck this one it will not come if you click this one then coordinates will come if you click this one then grid will not come so in this way you can do the customization here in the status bar i think now your conception is getting clear that that how to handle with the status bar in our autocad layout thanks for watching this video